I'm a big fan of fruit pies and lovely crumbles and today I'm making a combination of the two with my blueberry crumble pie. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. Now this pie is amazing. It's got a lovely short crust pastry base with a buttery crumble topping and it's packed full of juicy blueberries. I love to serve it smothered in cream or ice cream. So let's get cooking. Start by preheating your oven to 200 C or 400 F. Then unroll a 320 gram or 11 ounce pack of ready rolled short crust pastry and use it to line a round 22 centimeter or eight and a half inch pie dish. Now trim the edges of the pastry using a knife and then use a fork to pierce several holes into the base of the pastry. Cover the pastry with a large piece of baking parchment and fill with baking or dried beans. Then place in the oven to blind bake the pastry for about 20 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to remove those baking beans and allow the pie base to cool completely. Once that base is completely cool, that's when we'll start making the filling for it. You might notice that the pastry has shrank back a little bit uh, from the edges of the dish, but you'll find that you don't get too much shrinkage so long as your pastry is nice and chilled when you put it in the pastry dish. Now we're gonna make the crumble topping. So place 180 grams or one and a half cups of plain all-purpose flour in a large bowl, along with one teaspoon of baking powder and 115 grams or four ounces of cold unsalted butter that's been sliced into small cubes. Using your fingertips, rub the butter into the flour until the mix resembles breadcrumbs. Don't worry if you've got some large chunks in there, it all adds to the texture. Now add in 60 grams or quarter of a cup of white caster sugar, along with 60 grams or a quarter of a cup of light brown sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, a small egg, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we're going to mix it all together with your hands. You should have some fine crumbly bits and some lovely big clumps. Now we're going to put that to one side and make a blueberry mixture. So in a large bowl we're going to add 600 grams which is about four cups of fresh blueberries along with 120 grams or half a cup of white caster sugar, two teaspoons of lemon juice, one tablespoon of corn flour or cornstarch and two tablespoons of plain flour. Mix it all together. That corn flour and flour will help to catch the juices from the blueberries as they start to cook down and form a lovely thick sauce. Now add the blueberry mixture into the pastry lined pie dish. Sprinkle the crumble mixture over the top of the blueberries. We're going to place in the oven to cook for 45 minutes at 190C or 375F. You might need to cover the dish with foil after about 25 minutes to prevent the top from browning too much. Now that filling is gonna be like hot lava. So leave it for about half an hour after coming out of the oven before you serve it up and it'll be lovely and squidgy. If you want it to firm up a little more, then leave it to cool for about three to four hours, then slice it. Serve topped with vanilla ice cream, warm custard or lashings of double cream. And that's my blueberry crumble pie. One of the recipes from my new book, It's All About Dinner. See you next time.